okay, so let's look at diffusing light through a custom component panel that we want to be translucent with the texture map on it. So I'm going to start by putting a floor in so that we have something to bounce light off of, like that. And then let's put in a component. And I'm going to kind of just draw them in profile really, really quickly here on this. So model in place, generic, okie dokie, okay. Create extrusion. Like that. Offset. How thick were those guys? A couple inches. Two inches? Yeah. Okay. And then I need to close them off. Like that and that. And this and that. And these are big, biggie, big, big. So these are a little bit out of scale with what you're doing, but you're going to forgive me. So let's take that and let's copy, rotate. I just want to, you know, all that I'm trying to do is just sort of emulate some overlapping with these just so we can see what kind of effects we get built up from it. Okay, so I know that this is not what you're doing really, really, but let's just see what kind of interest we can build up with this. So I'm going to put three different materials on here. So let's do this one as our key material. Okay, so let's go here. Um, so I'm going to go create new material. And then in its appearance, I'm going to go over, and we really haven't done this yet um, in class, but this replace asset. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go replace asset, and we're going to go to the appearance library and down to glass. And in glass, we have these additional like clear and amber and all these kind of settings. And I think one of them in here is a frosted glass that's going to get us more of this translucent glowing kind of quality. So let's do that. So I'm going to double click on that asset and it's going to bring that in and replace it right over here. And again, it keeps popping in with this crazy greenness, which is really weird. I mean, it's showing up correctly here, but I don't know why it's doing this weird green stuff. But we're going to overwrite that anyway, I suppose, with a texture map, I hope. Um, so on the color, oh, it doesn't give us one. Huh. Let's see if we can do wood as our noise channel. Ooh. That's terrifying, isn't it? Um, you know, and so we can downplay it a bunch by modifying, getting the wood grains closer in tone to each other. And, um, why do you know it's axle noise green? Is there not a, there's not really a scale for it. This might be at 0.5. Now that's just varying the, the intensity of the grain. I'm looking for grain thickness. That's not going to do it. Ugh, that's terrible. Okay, so we're not doing that, right? So let's forget that. Let's do another new material. So we're going to call this an accident. That was fun. Okay, so let's rename this guy um, transparent wood panel and let's just build one up from scratch okay rather than replacing the asset um, so trans translucency we're going to build some transparency translucency into it um, and let's go ahead I'm going to maximize this a bit so we can see what's happening we're going to change our uh, render scene to a curtain wall 
Okay, so let's start by applying an image. And let's see here. Do I have wood? I don't have wood anywhere. Let me grab a quick wood texture. And, you know, we shouldn't be quite as worried about tiling on something like this. Um, simply because um, it's going to be very much in the background. I mean, I, I could be totally wrong in saying that, but I'm hoping I'm not. Would. Okay. Wood transparent panel open. Okay, so let's edit this. And that, you know, you can see that chair through that. It's kind of doing it already. So we know that this scale of this needs to be more like four, not four inches. Good grief. Four feet by four feet. I want to kind of open that up a little bit. Yeah, and that's getting us a little bit better. So let's say done. Fade. We want to fade the image out so it's not quite as aggressive on here. There, even more. Yeah. Okay, getting there. Okay, so let's scroll down. Translucency, let's drop that even more. Let's raise that even more. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah, there we go. So we're kind of finding this balance where it's going to occlude something like that. Translucency should sort of, you know, it's going to get, build up a little bit more of that plastic kind of feel, that, that panelized kind of feel about it. Um, the refraction, shouldn't worry about it. I think we'll be fine. Self-illumination, bump, tint. I think that's what you want to do is something like that. You know, and it's really going to be about sort of exploring what the exact right setting is for this. Okay, so that 30 seems to be really interesting right now. Where we can see a little bit of the wood grain and a little bit of that. Um, we might want to play with the scale of that eventually. I think it should also probably be a bit glossier. Hoping that we see difference in side to side on here, and we really can't. But you know, glass is has, has sort of a really high gloss value to it. Um, so let's say OK to that, and let's reset this to more of a realistic, so we can actually start seeing that as a material on here. So these other guys, what what are the materials for that? Uh, just another wood. Just another wood. Okay, yeah. so I'm just gonna. I mean, it's gonna be bad because the wood system on here is bad but let's just turn it to wood okay and then I'm gonna leave that one as gray finish model okay so we've got those elements working so let's go to our level one floor plan view and I'm gonna set up a view to render across that we can start to see those things happening and let's come in and let's put a couple of those studio lights in architecture component Load family, lighting, architectural, internal, studio light. And let's hide one here, and one here, and one here. And in my 3D view, I'll get them sort of more accurately positioned. Let's go to this view right here. I want to make sure I'm getting them in the right spot. Okay, so there's my camera. I, that's kind of what I'm mainly wanting to say. I want to make sure that I'm orienting myself in the right way. So this one, I want to pull down. Come on. I want to move it down. 
on to make sure that it's illuminating that panel. This one I want to bring up so that it's kind of tucked in behind one of these solid panels. moving yeah there we go so that's up there and then this last one I want to do the same thing let's make sure that it is also kind of hidden up here and it needs to move up vertically for me like that so then we go to the 3d view we're going to come into this render artificial, medium, render, let's see what happens. So it should pick up all three of those studio lights. It's way too dark right now, but I can definitely see some stuff happening right there. So when we adjust the brightness contrast, we should be okay. And again, what we're looking for is that difference between the translucent panel and those opaque panels to see if we're getting something successful in terms of the design idea. Brighter, apply, Ooh. yeah. Cool. cool, Yeah. maybe a little bit darker. Yeah, so I mean, you're seeing that cut through, mm -hmm. but you're seeing, you're maintaining the integrity of that wood pattern on right. there. So let's do this again, but with sun only. Should go much faster on the rendering. Cool.